welcome to our prenatal series. My name's Natasha. And I'm Melissa. We are the two AmeriCorps members at the 16th Street Clinic in the Women's Wellness Department. We help educate first-time moms and provide prenatal care and information to help facilitate a healthy pregnancy for our patients here at the 16th Street Clinic. Before we begin, if you have any questions or comments throughout the class, please respond to the link that we have in our bio. It is completely confidential and we will respond to you as soon as we can. If anything is urgent or an emergency, please call the clinic as soon as possible. So let's begin. Let's quickly look at our agenda for today. We will go over four birth control methods, reversible methods, hormonal methods, barrier methods, and permanent methods. Each section has several different options and types that we will go over. The first reversible method of birth control is the intrauterine device, also referred to as IUDs. This is a small T-shaped device that is inserted into your uterus where it sits and prevents the egg from attaching to the uterine wall. There are many different types of IUDs, some that work while using hormones, such as the Laletta or the Skyla, and some that do not use hormones, such as the Paragard. They are 99.2% effective, and some of them can remain in your uterus for up to 10 years. As you can see in the diagram, the IUD sits in the uterus. The device has strings attached to the bottom of it, in which remain outside the uterus. You're supposed to be able to feel the strings to make sure it's in the correct location and did not dislodge or fall out. Your partner is not able to feel this during intercourse for any kind of IUD. If your partner can feel the strings and it causes discomfort, please talk to your provider. Here we have a comparison of sizes of each IUD. As you can see, they are very small. This is one of the most effective forms of birth control, being 99% effective. Here is another comparison chart which shows the differences in the types of IUDs. The first option is the Paragard. This type of IUD doesn't use any hormones. The hormonal IUDs sit similarly like the copper IUD but functions a bit differently by inhibiting the sperm from reaching your uterus. You will continue to get your menstrual cycle but periods can be heavier with more cramps. The Paragard lasts up to 10 years. The next IUD is called the Mirena or the Liletta. This IUD uses progestin to help treat heavy periods and anemia. The Mirena stops your menstrual cycle and they can last up to 3 to 7 years. The next IUD is the Kylina. This is usually marketed to women who have not given birth to a baby yet and lasts up to 5 years. The last IUD option is the Skyla. This is a hormonal option that does not change your menstrual cycle. This IUD lasts 3 years. The next kind of method is the hormonal method. The implant is included in this category. The implant is a small thin rod that is inserted under the skin of a woman's upper arm. Over the next three years, progestin is released. It is greater than 99% effective. It is also known as Nexplanon. Here is a visual of the size of the implant and where it would be inserted in the upper arm. The next hormonal method is the injection or the Depo shot, aka the Depo Provera. This is a progestin hormone shot that is injected every three months from a doctor or a midwife. It is 96% effective. Another hormonal method is the most popular option, which is the birth control pill. It uses estrogen and progestin, or just progestin to prevent pregnancy. It must be taken at the same time every day to be effective. It is 93% effective. The next hormonal method is the patch. The patch uses estrogen and progestin to prevent pregnancy. You must change the patch every three weeks, and then the fourth week you have your menstrual cycle. It is also 93% effective. In this slide, you can see all the possible locations of placement of the patch. It can be placed on the lower hip, the upper buttocks, the shoulder blade, or the upper arm. The last of the hormonal methods is the ring or the Nuva ring. This again uses estrogen and progestin to prevent pregnancy. You can change this ring every three weeks and get your menstrual cycle on the fourth week. This is 93% effective. The ring is inserted into any place in the vagina. To insert it, make sure you are in a comfortable position. Squeeze the sides of the ring and then gently insert it. Again, please speak with your provider about more information and techniques on the insertion of the ring. Here is a visual representation of how the ring sits inside the vagina. It is completely safe. 
None of the hormonal methods of birth control prevent against STDs, so be sure to protect yourself from this as well. The next type of method is the barrier method. The first example is the condom. There are male and female condoms, the male being 87% effective and the female being 79% effective. There is another type of barrier method which is called the diaphragm, which is 83% effective at preventing pregnancy. With these methods, the male or female condom is placed over the penis or vagina and acts as a barrier, preventing the sperm from leaving the condom. This is the only type of birth control that helps prevent STDs. It is important to be aware of your fertility as well. Learn and understand your own reproductive cycle. Learn your infertile days and your fertile days. There are many apps that can help you with this as well. The 16th Street Clinic offers natural family planning classes if you are interested in this method of preventing pregnancy. Please contact Elvira Ramirez for more information. There are also other forms of birth control that are permanent. One of these is tubal ligation, in which the fallopian tubes are banded, cauterized, tied, and cut or clipped so that the eggs are not able to enter to the uterus. This does not affect your period. You will not need any other type of birth control after. We are not able to do this procedure at the clinic, as you would need to go to the hospital if this method seems like the best option for you. Remember, this method is not reversible. Here is a graphic that displays the anatomy of the female reproductive system. In the tubal ligation procedure, the fallopian tubes are tied and cut, cauterized, clipped, or tied. The next permanent method is the vasectomy. The surgery cuts the vas deferens to prevent the sperm from leaving the testicles. This is almost 100% effective in preventing pregnancy. You can receive a vasectomy in the clinic as two doctors do this. Dr. Bakiber and Dr. Pudeman do vasectomies and cost much less than getting one's tubes tied. There is less risk of complications and negative effects after as well. This process can be reversible too. If this interests you, you can always make a consultation to receive and inquire about this procedure. Here is a diagram of the vasectomy procedure. Our last slide goes over the effectiveness of different types of birth control. The most effective types of birth control include the implant, IUD, both copper and hormonal, and sterilization, including vasectomies and tubal ligation. The next most effective is the pill, the patch, the ring, and the depot shot. Then lastly, the least effective methods are the barrier methods, including the condom and the diaphragm, fertility awareness, and then lastly, the withdrawal or pullout method. If you want any more information on birth control, we will attach a document in the bio so you can have more information and choose what's best for you and then speak with your provider. And that wraps up our birth control video. Remember, if you have any questions, respond to the link that we have in the bio. Make sure you are following the clinic on all social media platforms for more updates. Thank you for watching.